All righty. We are moving on to our next unit. We are going to start talking about quadrilaterals. So a little brief backstory here. A quadrilateral, if you remember, is any four-sided figure. Those sides have to be nice and straight, and we're talking about our convex quadrilaterals, okay? So any nice four-sided figure, uh, just like we talked about with triangles, triangles have an interior angle sum. Triangle's interior angle sum is? That's right, 180. So quadrilaterals are just two triangles put together. So their interior angle sum, interior angle sum is 360. So the four interior angles of our quadrilaterals are going to equal 360 degrees. So for this unit, we're going to be talking about specific quadrilaterals that have specific properties and we, what's the word, categorize them based off of those properties, okay? So the first thing that we're going to talk about are parallelograms. A parallelogram is a four-sided figure that has two sets of parallel sides. So this side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to this side. Don't judge the drawing. I'm only human, okay? So our parallelograms, to know it's a parallelogram, we're going to have two sets of parallel sides. Once we know our figure is a parallelogram, it comes with certain properties, okay? The first property, given that we have a parallelogram, our opposite sides are going to be congruent, okay? Opposite sides are congruent. So that means this side is congruent to this side, and this side is congruent to that side. They will have the exact same measures. Opposite angle or opposite sides are congruent. With that nice little slip I just made, we also know our opposite angles are congruent. Okay? So opposite angles are congruent. So if we look at our diagram here, this angle is congruent to this angle and this angle is congruent to this angle. So we have two sets of opposite congruent angles. Pretty nifty, right? All right, and our last property for our parallelograms is our consecutive angles are supplementary. If you remember what supplementary means, Supplementary means they're going to add up to 180 degrees, okay? Consecutive angles means they're in a row, right next to each other. So this angle and this angle are consecutive. This angle and this angle are consecutive. So if I were to come in and give these names, call this A and B, I know the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 180 degrees, okay? Our two consecutive angles are supplementary. We also know if this is B, we'll call this side C, B and C are consecutive, so they're also supplementary. Okay, three properties. Once we know we're dealing with a parallelogram, we know opposite sides are congruent, opposite angles are congruent, and our consecutive angles are supplementary. So let's go ahead and put those to practice. So over here, I have an example. I've got four unknowns, X, Y, W, and Z. If we check this out, here are my opposite sides. So I know that X equals 10. Opposite sides have to be congruent because we have a parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel. So opposite sides are congruent. To solve for Y, I have 2y, and it is equal to 6. Opposite sides are congruent, so I can set 2y equal to 6. Divide by 2, and I get y equals 3. 
Okay. A couple more here. So we have 100 degrees in this angle. Its opposite angle is Z. Opposite angles are congruent, so Z is also 100 degrees. Then I have 100 and W. These two angles are consecutive. They're right next to each other. So I know 100 plus W has to equal 180. So I subtract the 100 over, and W equals 80. So we just used all of the properties we talked about in one nice little diagram. Okay, pretty straightforward. So I have an example here that's just a little bit more complex. We have to solve for a little bit more. So this angle and this angle, they would be considered consecutive. They're right next to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them together and set this equal to 180. So 3x plus 20 plus 2x plus 10 equals 180. So I'm going to combine like terms. That's 5x plus 30 equals 180. I'm going to minus the 30 over. So 5x equals 150. Divide by 5 and x equals 30. Got a little low there. Let's just change that. There we go. And this is kind of cool because we can check. Plug in the 30. So that's 3 times 30 plus 20. So 90 plus 20, that's 110. So then 2 times 30 plus 10, that's 60, plus 10, that's 70. 110 plus 70, that's going to give me my 180. Okay, parallelograms. We've got a couple more properties that we're going to talk about, but I'm going to show you that in the next video.